All right, thanks for watching. And today I'll present a very neat application of the monotone sequence theorem, which remember all that it says is that if a sequence is increasing and bounded above, then it converges. In particular, I would like to consider the following sequence where the next term is square root of the current term plus one. And I wanna show that it converges and not only that, also find a limit and we'll find a really cool answer. So just stick around. So first of all, one thing I wanna show is that Sn is bounded above. In this case, turns out it's bounded above by two, and that's what we wanna show. So claim number one. First of all, Sn is less than or equal to two for all n. And this, it's best to prove by induction. So for the recursive sequences, induction is usually the way to go. And so proof, again, let Pn be the proposition that Sn is less than or equal to two. And so let's do the base case because it's all about the base, about the base case. And so what do we have? We have, well, S1, that is one, and hopefully you agree that it is less than or equal to two. So the base case is done, and then let's do the inductive step. So suppose um, what was it? Um, suppose uh, Pn is true, so suppose Sn is less than or equal to 2. Show that Pn plus 1 is true, so show that Sn plus 1 is less than or equal to 2. But look, Sn plus 1, that is just the square root of Sn plus 1. But you see, Sn plus 1, that's less than or equal to 2 plus 1. So this thing is less than or equal to two plus one. And again, that was the inductive hypothesis. And this is equal to square root of three, and square root of three is less than or equal to two. Because two is square root of four, and square root of three is less than uh, square root of four. And therefore, Pn plus one is true. So uh, Pn is true for all n. That is, Sn is less than or equal to 2 for all n. So that was the first thing, and now what we want to show, we want to show that Sn is increasing. So claim number 2. Sn is increasing, and therefore, again, it's a good induction proof, so let Pn be the proposition that Sn plus one is bigger than Sn. And then again, it's the ace of base case. That rhymes. So let's show that S2 is bigger than N1, S1. But look, S2, that's square root of S1 plus one. And that's square root of one plus one which is square root of two, and square root of two is bigger than one, which is S1. So the base case is done, and now the inductive step. So suppose, or so suppose that Sn plus one is bigger than Sn, so suppose Pn is true, and show Pn plus one is true, so show that Sn plus two, it's bigger than Sn plus one. And therefore, let's consider the difference. So Sn plus two minus Sn plus one, by definition that it's square root of Sn plus one, plus one minus square root of Sn plus one. Here you use the conjugate form, so let's multiply this quantity by square root of Sn plus one, plus one minus square root of Sn plus one, yeah, two slightly different things, and then times square root of Sn plus one, 
plus 1 plus square root of Sn plus 1 divided by that same thing, square root of Sn plus 1 plus 1 plus square root of Sn plus 1. And now you get a minus b times a plus b, which is a squared minus b squared. And that just becomes Sn plus 1 plus 1 minus Sn minus 1 over this positive thing. So Sn plus 1 plus 1 plus square root of Sn plus 1. Okay. Now this cancels out and you're left with Sn plus 1 minus Sn over square root of Sn plus 1 plus 1 plus square root of Sn plus 1. And now here's the thing. So by the inductive hypothesis, we know this is positive. Again, by the inductive hypothesis. And well, this also is positive. So we really have the ratio of two positive numbers, which is positive, and therefore we are done because we then get that Sn plus 2 minus Sn plus 1 is bigger than 0, and so Pn plus 1 is true. And therefore, Pn is true for every n. Hence, we can conclude now, so what do we have? So note, so Sn is increasing and bounded above. So we have a situation like that, where the sequence is in bounded above by 2, and it's increasing. Therefore, by the monotone sequence theorem, the sequence must converge to some s. And again, that was a very important thing. Mm. Hence, by the monotone sequence theorem, Sn converges to S. And the question is, what is S here? Well, for this, use the definition again over your sequence. So Sn plus 1 equals square root of Sn plus 1. Now look, Sn, since Sn goes to S, any future value goes to S as well. So Sn plus 1 goes to S. And well, square root of Sn plus 1 also goes to square root of s plus 1, and then square both sides, so s squared equals s plus 1, so s squared minus s minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, by the quadratic formula, s is 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2, which means either it is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, but the problem is this is negative. And you see Sn plus 1 is positive because it's a square root. And therefore, it actually has to go to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Which, by the way, it's a beautiful number. It's called the golden ratio. And that's what makes life so beautiful because of the golden ratio. So in the end, what can we conclude? We conclude that Sn goes to the golden ratio. And therefore, it is a golden limit. All right, thank you so much. If you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.